Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and welcome to the next video in my Oh So Inspired September series. I hope you'll stick around, see how I'm going to be inspired today, and find out how you can play along. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. At the end of last month, I stopped by and told you about a new series on my channel. It is called Oh So Inspired September, and I am hoping to spend the month focusing on the supplies I currently have and creating new projects that are inspired by other artists out there. That intro video does go into detail about the challenge, so you'll definitely want to watch it. I have it linked in the description box below. Basically, I am asking my subscribers to submit inspiration links and then I'll stop back from time to time this month and create something new based upon the chosen pieces. There are a couple ways for subscribers to join in on the fun and I will tell you more about that later, but for now, why don't we talk about today's inspiration piece? Earlier on in the video, you saw me use random.org to choose today's piece, and before I sat down to create, I didn't know what my inspiration would be. Today's inspiration piece was submitted by Teresa, who is fresh and renewed with Teresa here on YouTube, and her link went to a card on Instagram that was originally created by Delaine Nakar. Hopefully I did not butcher that name too much. Up on screen now is a close-up of the card. I will have Delay's Instagram account and a link to this post in the description box below so you can go get more details on it and follow her over on Instagram if you don't already. She has many beautiful creations I know you will love to peruse. Some things I noticed right away about the inspiration piece was the fact that it was a see-through shaker card. There was some embossing details on the white and there was a thankful or grateful theme to it. And I also liked that leafy vine die cut. As you see me working on my card today, you'll notice that I did go with a see-through shaker window, but instead of using that nice bright white background, I used a craft to go with the fall colors that I'm going to choose for my leaf window and my leaf die cuts. I did decide to go with the thankful theme and you'll notice on the front I have a thankful die cut but my smaller sentiment I will put on the inside of my card. The sentiment stamp set that I'm using today is on the newer side. It is from Honey Bee Stamps and it is called Inside Thankful Sentiments. Now some more of my vintage supplies that I use today would be the Thankful Die which is by Paper Tray Ink and I probably bought in 2008. And then also the leaf dies are from Spellbinders and yeah, these were probably put out about the same time. I am just loving looking in my stash, seeing what I have to use that I might have forgotten about. And although I do want you to consider finding stuff in your stash to use if you're inspired to create, I do know that some of you still like to know the products I've used. So what I can find, I will link in that description box below. Because I want to keep this series focused on the inspiration pieces and the end product, I'm not going to spend each video like normal voicing over every step. But I do want to let you know that if you see me do something on screen or use something that I don't address in the voiceover, you can always leave me a comment or question in the comment section below. And I will definitely answer those as soon as I can. 
If you do enjoy today's video and you want to see more like this, I will have the entire playlist for Oh So Inspired September linked in the description box below and it will be at the end of the video as an end card. Now let me tell you how you can play along. There are a couple ways. The first is just by watching the videos, leaving comments, giving it thumbs up, and then going to visit the original posts and leaving those artists some love as well. The second is by creating your own piece inspired by today's card. You can take anything you want from the original card and create any type of project as well. Maybe you like the bright white background, or maybe you want to try out a see-through shaker window as well. That is totally up to you. And you don't even have to make a card. You could make a decor piece, or a bookmark, or a tag. The possibilities are endless. The goal is to just be inspired by other artists and create. If you do create something, I would love to see it. You can share here on YouTube or over on Instagram or TikTok with a couple special hashtags, which I will tell you about in a minute. You can also share your photo in my Facebook group. I do have a designated album for all of the Oh So Inspired September photos, and that will be linked in the description box below. If you're not already a member of the Facebook group and you do want to join, please make sure you answer all of the questions and agree to the group rules. If you do not do that, Facebook will not approve your membership request. The hashtags for today's video are up on screen now, so don't forget to use those if you post on social media. I can't wait to see what you are inspired to create. Here's some close-up looks at my finished fall see-through shaker card. At the end of the month, it will be on its way to Teresa in Florida. If you enjoyed today's video, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until the next one, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.